to turn to Unatanatoka, one of the hardest prayers of these holy days, we turn to my rabbi and teacher, Marcelo Bronstein, who over the years since he and Karina have been joining us for High Holy Days has now become a dear friend to many in our community, and I'm so grateful for your wisdom as we enter this prayer. Thank you. Dear God, I come to you before Netane Tokev as a kecheres anishbar, a broken vessel, filled with grief, with rage, with disappointment, with hopelessness, and also come with shame. Thinking of the Hatufim, the captives, and what the terrorists have done, I have entertained feelings of vengeance and hatred, as if hatred adds anything positive besides poisoning the soul. Today, inspiring the defiance of Rav Levi Yitzchak of Verdichev of old, when he recreated the Kaddish, I refuse to sing the Miyamut, who will die in the who will live and who will die equation of this prayer. I am not naive. I know that more will die before this nightmare ends. Maybe people are dying as we are praying here. I'm choosing to say today only me, Ichie, who will live. Me, Ichie, who will live by not succumbing to hatred. Me, Ichie, by not giving in to despair. Who will live by going to the place of discomfort, which is hope with agency. Mm. Me, Ichie, by not becoming zealous, zealot and extremist. Me here who will live by not being trapped by the seductive power, believing that this ends only with force. Me here who will live by not succumbing to the anxiety that the collective trauma of anti-Semitism steers within us. Me here by redefining the Jewish work to reinvigorate the Jewish world and committing to do that work, who will live by dwelling in nuance. Michie, by working in a world where peace is not only a dream. Michie, who will live by bringing his or her own bucket or even a teaspoon of water to put all of the fire of hatred. I know that we are supposed to hear today a cold mamadaka, a whisper of your voice. This year for me, dear God, even a sliver of an echo of your voice would be enough. 